Hello and welcome to the first episode of How Pros Draw. Uh, for those of you visiting my channel for the first time, my name is Matt Cawson and I've been working professionally in the comic industry since early 2000 for uh, publishers like Humanoids Publishing, Daredevil, I mean, sorry, Dreamwave Productions, Devil's Do, Inside Studios Group, and uh, Boom Studios. I've also worked on as a storyboard artist for uh, Amazon Studios and Warner Brothers Animation. And currently I'm also working on a new comic book series called Agenda uh, with an award-winning writer, James Hudnell, who also right now has a writing workshop series on his YouTube channel, which is uh, my description uh, area. You're going to find the channel. It's Esper999. I hope I put the link up correctly. But you can check that out, James Hudnell. And let's see, okay. So let's get started. Let's see, in this first installment of How Pros Draw, we'll be uh, tackling four key points to keep in mind when drawing figures. Now, the anatomy tips that we'll be covering in this video will be comic book manga related. So this video will, be, this video will just be like a quick overview of that. And I can do more extensive videos later on that focus more on each individual point in the near future, you know, according to request, obviously. So again, there are gonna be four points that we'll be focusing on, but today we will only be covering two. When those are number one, proportions, and number two, shapes. So, boom, proportions. Proportions, heads beats tails. And that, what that means is we're going to be using the head as a measuring tool. So, for instance, in comic book manga and the general proportions of the male and, like, hero, the character, uh, stands about eight heads. And I have a chart here. A quick chart. Cool. Thanks, Bob. And this is a quick breakdown. Everyone pretty much, uh, I'm assuming everyone knows the different breakdowns according to head size, eight heads, seven and a half heads, six heads, depending on what size you want your character to be. So we have this proportion chart. Okay, so even though the male right here is eight heads tall, you can tell the female is just a little bit shorter. I usually like to put the females, depending on the character, like if they're a hero or if they're like a younger character, um, usually between seven and a half, six and a half heads tall. And so let's see, in this example chart, we can see where the body parts land. So we just kind of use this grid. So you can see this first head, the second head, the bottom of the second head, just below it's going to be the chest area on the man. And uh, right in between that, and the third head is going to be like where the rib cage bottoms out. And that's also going to be around where the elbow bends, right around the rib cage. And you can even feel your own ribs and where your elbow comes to next to your ribs. It's so right around that same area. And then uh, if you look also where the wrist is, the wrist ends right about where the crotch area is. And that's at the bottom of the fourth head. And then so on down to the sixth, bottom of the sixth head, you can see where the knees rest upon that area. So um, I think it's the best, uh, the best practice is to make your own measurement chart based off like established proportions. Make sure you get the proportions down, draw your own version. Um, and doing so, it really helps you cement and memorize the proportions into your mind. So it becomes so much part of your drawing practice. You're not even, you don't even really need charts anymore, but it's good to draw these charts. It seems kind of pointless when they already provide the charts for you in different art books or tutorials, but Trust me, drawing it yourself, that is the best way. It's like learning a language. you got to speak it. you got to start speaking it and listening and doing it on your own. So, all right. So, proportions. That covers proportions, um, which is very basically, I said this is an overview. So, the next we are going to do is shapes. And shapes is very important. I think a lot of people... Um, we concentrate on form, which is important, obviously. You want something to look three-dimensional. But shapes 
is a quick way of grasping something that you're drawing. So for instance, um, as a comic artist, you're going to be called upon to draw, you know, people in various actions and positions that don't come to mind when you're actually sketching in your sketchbook. Um, like for instance, someone talking on the telephone, uh, someone, you know, sitting in a car behind a steering wheel. I mean, you usually don't draw those things. You usually draw action or something fun in your sketchbook, a standalone person. Um, so when you need to draw something like that, usually you kind of you call upon references so and I know a lot of people think that using a reference is some kind of it's a form of cheating but as soon as you find that right picture that you need to use for reference you'll see that nothing could be further from the truth because now you have to break down this referenced picture into an actual drawing and that's where shapes really come into play to help you do that to make it a lot quicker and uh, just as you see in animals, you see animals and human faces in cloud formations in the sky, the artist needs to really train themselves to see shapes in animals and human faces and the figures. Try to see shapes in complex uh, structures. So as an example, here I have a photo that I used as a reference and I have it on my tablet here, I'm doing old school. And I needed this for a uh, comic I was doing called Time Cheetah. And basically what it is, it's the main character is fighting a samurai. So the samurai has his sword out. He's putting pressure on the back of that. And the hand was so complex. Um, you see all the, uh, all the different uh, sinew and bone. And it just, it looked too complex in my mind. I was trying to draw it over and over. I drew this probably half a dozen times. And finally I just said, you know what? I'm just going to break this down. And I just basically outlined the major shapes, just simplified it, broke it down to its most simple structure. And I'm not even worried about the proportions. I mean, uh, proportions you want, but you want to focus on those shapes. Once you get that shapes down, I mean, look how simple the fingers are in there. So... Once I did that, I finally got what I needed. And here is the comic page. The final result of that hand. And it's funny how simple it might have looked to draw that hand at first, but man, when you get, you see, like I said, all the details, I just forget that. Just go right into basic shapes, break everything down into a basic structure. And it's going to always vary I mean, the human, the hand changes shape. It's never one shape because you're constantly, you know, it's very articulate. You're constantly moving your hand into different positions. So there are varied positions. Your hand can't basically, your palm, your hand can't bend back. Uh, so there's going to be certain, but if you see like the palm of my hand right here is like an actual triangle shape. That's the closest shape I can make out from my hand. So you want to break things down to its most simple structure. This is a very, very important thing. I know people always talk about form. That is important. But before you get to that form, a lot of times, for me, I just identify those basic shapes. So, uh, so okay, right now this is going to be a short video. Uh, like I said, it's a quick overview. So that pretty much wraps up the uh, figures uh, section. The part two is going to actually be covering placement in poses and I will be posting a video on that on Friday but in the meantime I will be doing a live stream as I catch up on some comic pages for Agenda the new book I'm working on and I'll be doing that throughout the week just uh, throwing up some live stream of me drawing and if you want you can ask questions um, but yeah so if you haven't already please subscribe see how I work Click on the notification bell to find out when I work and to get the latest news and tutorials. And please don't forget to like this video. Also, please just leave a comment in the suggestions or a suggestion in the comment below, the comment section, because I really appreciate the feedback. And thanks again for watching. And I'll see you next time. And like I said, I'm going to start a new stream drawing live. Thanks again.
Bye-bye.